Researchers here in Houston have new research that may help unravel the mysteries of Alzheimer's disease. Joining me with more on this is the doctor who co-authored the new report, Dr. Claudio Soto. Good morning to you. Good morning. What an interesting study that you've done. Thank let's you. Let's go from the very beginning and, and tell me a little bit about the research and, and, and how this is going to help Alzheimer's research. Yes, this is a study in, in animal models uh, where we, we show that under certain conditions, if you take a piece of the brain from an Alzheimer's patient and you inject into the brain on, of an animal, the animal develop over time the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. So that would actually develop it. Now, right now, what you're trying to figure out is how it could be contagious. So you're thinking possibly even through blood transfusion uh, yes, that's a possibility. We are investigating what practical routes are re relevant in this case. Mm -hmm. So this isn't something that a family member, by any means of the imagination, has to be concerned about if they're taking care of an Alzheimer's Certainly. patient. Certainly. You are absolutely right. And I want to make very clear that nobody should panic. Mm -hmm. uh, take, take care of your family members. This is very important. Hack them. That, uh, we don't believe that under any circumstances this will be a way of transmission. Mm -hmm. And so again, even if that, that Alzheimer's person was to cut themselves or something and you got that blood on you, still not contagious that way at this point? Most likely not. They will probably require a very high quantity of material to get in, into your body to be able mm -hmm. to transmit if this happen in, in, in real life. Because as I said, we have done experiments in animal models. We have now to demonstrate this happen or not in, in humans. What made you all come up with the idea to even find out if it was contagious? So that is just so compelling to me. This, this is because Alzheimer's disease has a lot of similarities to another brain disease, which is called prion diseases. You may have n n heard about this from mad cow disease. Mm -hmm. And this is very clearly an, an infectious disease. And the molecular mechanism in the brain of these two diseases is very, very similar. That's why we thought Alzheimer's may have a contagious origin. I think any time we get some big answers like this, it starts putting the pieces of the puzzle to trying to figure out the mysteries behind this disease that has stumped doctors for years. How do you think this new information will help perhaps develop a cure or to, to just answer even more questions about Alzheimer's? I, I think it may, actually, because if we find, for example, the ways this is transmitted, if it's transmitted in humans, then we could prevent those uh, those ways. And perhaps, depending on how many patients acquire the disease in this way, perhaps we can prevent many, many cases. Well, I know that that would make a big difference for people because it is a very difficult disease. And we appreciate your time this morning. Dr. Soto, thank you for sure. helping us just answer more questions about this because I know a lot of people are talking about it right now. Thank you very much.